Sometimes we call it the beast, sometimes it's the sun, sometimes it's, it's emotions. It's what, what, what you make out of it. I mean, we, we base the storyline on eight basic human emotions. El alemán Christopher Bauda y el francés David Lutelier traen a la Ciudad de México su instalación monumental Scalar, una combinación de elementos tan básicos como la luz, el sonido y el movimiento que estimulan y fascinan nuestros sentidos. I'm working with uh, light installations for a long time and I realized after a while that with this combination of movement, of light and of sound, you can trigger very profound human emotions. It's very technical what we're doing. We're using machines, we have a network, we have computer software, we have all these technical uh, apparatus things going on. But still with the right combination of those things you can create emotion. So we just give a suggestion of a direction. But what people make out of it, it's up to them. It's an artistic installation. So our storyline is very abstract and very basic. But we are still trying to use the, the people's own imagination. La luz, la música, el movimiento, crean espacios efímeros. Así que de alguna manera, este par de creativos se vuelve una especie de arquitectos de lo efímero, de lugares que desaparecen cuando la luz y la música se apagan. Well, actually, yeah, I, I mean, I did, I'm responsible for the music here, and Christopher more for the light and movements, but uh, my uh, original, uh, like what I studied is architecture. And now what we do with uh, Christopher is kind of the realization of that because it's like time is the architecture, uh, it's, is, or like so sound is the architecture of time, but, but then it's also illustrated or like shown with the synchronicity of light and movement of, the, of those mirrors. That's basically what we're doing in the show. We use light to create three-dimensional constructions that are close to architecture. It, it has a, a solid feel to it even though it, you can't touch it and we can modify those, those uh, architectural light elements over time. Pero, ¿Cómo lograr estimular a una sociedad de por sí ya sobreestimulada con elementos visuales y sonoros de la vida cotidiana, de la calle y del exterior? First of all, it's a black space. So you come in, all your senses are gone. You don't know where you are, you have no orientation, it's dark, it's loud. So you're, you're cut off from your, your daily life. So it's, a, it's already a, an alien experience that you have. Also, like, I think outside what you just mentioned is like, we are constantly like, bombed by uh, like visual and sonic information, but it becomes like sort of noise because it's sort of like makes no sense when, it, when, it's, uh, when it's all mixed. But here we try to sort of like, constrain and reduce the amount of, uh, of information to th things which are more uh, pure and more direct, which you don't usually have, have uh, in the, uh, on the outside. So there's a sort of um, sensory deprivation in this black box 